Hot and Shaw is a great movie in my opinion, but the fighting scenes are outrageously hilarious. You mean to tell me this entire room only one person's ready to fight and they're all trained security guards? Why does everybody else look like they're about to hit yourself over one guy? Friday, 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 Friday! New videos every Friday! Getting jumped in an action movie cannot be further from the truth. When main characters get jumped in action movies, why does not one person get scarred? They can literally get jumped by the entire army and they still wouldn't even get scratched. And that's because in action movies, when the main character fights a large group of people, they fight them one at a time! Who's doing that in real life? Nobody! You get jumped in real life and you get a punch on by everybody at once. Nobody cares about a fair fight! You get jumped in real life and people will be wearing boots for some reason. It can be the middle of summer and they'll still be wearing boots! And that's because 99% of the time when you get jumped in real life, you're probably gonna get knocked out! Not only are you gonna get knocked out, but you're probably gonna get curb stomped by the entire team here just watch this scene you can see what i'm talking about each and every single one of them try to fight this man one on one in real life they would have punched this man at once every single one of them you mean to tell me out of all the people in the entire room only three people decided to hit him look at the room and then look who hit him there's like 15 people there and only three people decided to hit him are you serious and i'm sorry to say this but who's freaking man is this this man ran into the freaking wall i never jumped somebody in my life but if one of my friends tried to do this and they ran into the freaking wall just back yourself and go home don't even talk to me anymore we're not friends you freaking idiot who runs into the wall out of all the people there only three people hit him i'm still stuck on that there's freaking 15 people in the room in this frame everybody's coming you mean to tell me everybody stopped you can't handle the truth no <laughs> Just a second ago, everybody was running at this man as fast as they can, and everybody just stopped on a dime. How do you go from this to this? It makes no sense. It's like they forgot what they were doing. They forgot the only thing that they're supposed to do, which is fight this man. What the hell? Just watch the next part of the scene. It makes less sense than this. These have to be the fakest people on the planet. Earthquake! 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 That can be the only thing that can explain why this man's shaking right now. Nobody hit him! And this man right here? Why is he walking? What are you doing, dude? You see the rest of your people getting beat up and you're just watching it happen? You're just casually walking? What is he even looking at? His friend just got rocked and he's just walking to the chair. What's this man's problem? You can tell he doesn't give a f about his job. It's like they try to play a prank on this man and he's just now getting back at them. Tell me why The Rock punched this man so hard he looks like a freaking pedo. The Rock punched this man so hard he looks like he came straight out of Despicable Me. He looks just like freaking Gru. I like how they try to make this a David and Goliath situation like The Rock isn't big as hell. But the thing I don't get the most about this scene is that this man came from underneath a truck with a ranch. He didn't even attempt to hit him. If I came underneath a truck and I see this big steroid abusing mofo, I'm gonna swing this thing from a mile away. I might even throw it at him. Look how long this thing is. He didn't even try. There's freaking 15 people in this man's room. Where did he find the time to strike a pose? What? What happened to them? Did they disappear? This man has transcended. He is no longer human. How does nobody sock him? If this was real life, they would have murked him by now. The entire army would have been stomping this man into the ground right now. Earthquake! 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 This man is not human! He slammed this man on the ground so hard he caused the entire building to shake. Name another man that's doing that! Nobody! What are they doing, dog? Especially this man! This man's clawing at him like he's freaking Freddy Cougar or something! Why are they acting like he just threw a freaking grenade or a flashbang or something? Look at them in the back! They're just jumping backwards! He didn't even do anything to them! Look at this man in the back! He think he's freaking Allen Iverson or something! He looks like he just got his freaking ankles taken! No way! No way! No way! Who was this when this man was trying to flex on him? Are you serious? And then even after that, this man could have just aimed at his legs! Do you not think? And then look at this man here! What is he doing? I know this man's trying to shit himself in the blast because it's probably loud, but why are you throwing a punch? What are you punching? One at a time! Even security guards at a concert would have rushed this man already. Look how many people there are! Not one person came! In the beginning of the movie, they hyped this place up to be the most secure place on the planet. And you have these idiots guarding it. Look at them! They look like there's a damn tsunami in there. They look like they're trying to ride the wave like some cloud chasers. Why are they acting surprised? He just threw their friend's head into the wall and they're just gonna stand there and watch it. Even my little brother would have helped me out and he's eight. 
Again, where did he find the time to watch this man yawn? Anybody that thought this through would have socked him. These are supposed to be some of the most highly trained people on the planet, and they're out here acting like they're fighting freaking Captain America or Black Panther. This man has no superpower. They're afraid to fight a man that looks like he's old enough to run for president. He looks like Joe Biden, but 15 years younger. Looks like he's old enough to be my freaking grandfather. And they're still afraid to fight this man. It's 15 on one. <laughs> Why does everybody in action movies have eyes behind their head? In this case, he might look into the reflection of the glass. But in every other action movie, and they do this, there's no glass. They just do it. It's like they have freaking spidey sense. Try this in real life, and you'll be ducking from ghosts. You'll be ducking for no reason. And how the hell did this guy go flying from one punch? He's supposed to be one of the most highly trained security guards on the planet, and he can't throw a punch without freaking flying off screen. Where is this place? They're out here hiring people like Oprah on a Christmas special. You'll get a job. You'll get a job. You'll get a job. You'll get a job. They suck! Are you serious? This man had that this whole time and he didn't think just once to use it? I'm pretty sure all of them had a weapon and they chose not to use it. It's like me when I choose not to study. But when I choose not to study, it's not like I'm choosing to get fucked up by one guy when there's 15 people in the room. This man had that the whole time? What even is that? How do you get tied up to your own mans when it's a 15 on one fight? It's a whole bunch of grown men! If this is real life, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't even be able to get hired at a shopping mall. They suck! Even Paul Bart, the mall cop, could have fought better than them. And he could barely even pass the test to become a freaking mall cop! Are you serious? This man had a taser this whole time? Literally all you had to do was take the taser out once and hit him and he would have been done. This man got hit harder than me when I got in trouble in elementary school. Literally all you had to do was take out the taser and taste this man and you could have prevented all of this. Even after all that, this man tased the wrong guy. You are literally trained to be one of the best in the world and you taste the wrong person. What kind of fool are you? This is like one of those missions in Call of Duty where they teach you not to shoot civilians. This man's out here shooting friendly fire. This fight scene is like a group project where everybody expects someone else to do the work but nobody does. Serious? Imagine jumping somebody and losing. Imagine jumping somebody with 14 other people and you still lose. Now imagine jumping somebody with a gun, a taser, and whatever the hell this is, and you still lose. Even after all that, the thing I don't get the most is how the hell did he not hit him in the back of the head? This idiot literally walked up and grabbed this man's shirt and he didn't even think to hit him. This man Jason Statham has some magical powers because when people get around him, they turn to freaking idiots. It's like he has a force field around him. This man walked into a room with 15 other people that wanted to take his head off and nobody even hit him once. Even the clones from Star Wars would hit this man at least once. And they're notoriously known for not doing anything for the entire movie! Imagine being in a room with 15 other people and you get destroyed. Not only do you get destroyed, but this is the face he makes. He's not even tired! Alright, this scene is just absolutely stupid. Imagine literally having to bang your head just to get in through a door. Imagine having to bang your head just to go to work. Imagine literally having to bang your head. How much more can you hate your job? How the fuck you think I feel? Ask no dumbass questions. How has nobody filed a complaint about this? But to be honest, I don't even think the company cares. Because he literally hired the dumbest people on earth. Did they literally have people out here walking and they're trying to get into the most secure place on the planet? Name one sport where you can walk and practice. This man's literally, it's like this man's walking during the game. There's always that one coach. It can be 9, 6,000 degrees outside and they'll still make you jog everywhere. They won't even give you water. Look at the sheer amount of force this man thrusted his head into the wall. What the what kind of job is this? The Rock literally broke this man's face just trying to get through a freaking door. To be honest, if I had to bang my head just to get to work, I would've quit my job too. No wonder why these imbeciles let them through. They literally gave this man the get out of jail free card. Anybody with the brain would've stomped this man's guts in. Don't even get me started on the rest of this franchise. I can see Fast 9 trying to pull off some bullshit. If you would like to support one longest, poor kid's dream to drop out of college, you really like to jump out of the bridge, then subscribing, sharing the video, and liking it would give this channel a nice boost. And it would also help me get more financially independent from my mom. But if you would like to support your boy directly, I'm also selling a facial massager. When you roll it on your skin, it can help to prevent pimples and acne by promoting blood circulation underneath your skin. It also vibrates, so when you get bored in the shower, you can, uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it does vibrate, though. Also water resistant, so you can use it after you wash your face without getting shocked. For some reason, whenever I was younger and I had something on my face, I always put ice on it and it helped out a lot. The face of massager also for some reason is always cold, so it low-key feels dumb good in the summer. I'm also a broke college student, so I couldn't afford to produce a lot of them, but you can check if it's available in the description down below. That's it for this week, uh, new videos every Friday, and uh... Subscribe, motherfucker!